In this video, we'll talk about the vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin, which is very important for normal vision. Actually, the visual pigment or the rhodopsin requires the retinal for optimal function. Vitamin A deficiency can cause many symptoms and that can be classified clinically or subclinically. Xeropthalmia is basically a clinical spectrum of ocular manifestation when vitamin A is deficient. And this kind of manifestation range from less severe to more severe forms. On the lesser severe side of the spectrum, there is night blindness, bitot spot, corneal xerosis, and keratomalacia is one of the most severe forms of xeropthalmia. So let's talk about from the basic. First symptoms of vitamin A deficiency is actually night blindness or nyctalopia. Vitamin A is really important for the rod cells, which are basically helping us for low light vision because vitamin A or retinal is a key component of the light sensor. The sensitivity of this detector decreases when you don't have vitamin A. And that is why in low light, it's really hard to understand structures or visualize. So that is happening in case of night blindness or nyctalopia. So the next one is xeropthalmia. So xeropthalmia is an umbrella term. Underneath that, there are many, character, many kind of like symptoms and characteristics, such as there could be very severe form known as keratomalacia, where there is keratinous like deposition on the cornea. It's kind of creating a permanent lesion and it can also lead to loss of vision. There could be also less severe uh, kind of manifestations like bitot spot, which is present on the sclera. Now, the symptoms of keratomalacia includes softness of the cornea, opacity of the cornea and severe infection of the cornea. So the eye would look reddish and dry, dryness of the eye would be pretty much vi vi visible. So the severity of uh, keratomalacia or xeropthalmia is different in different person based on how much the vitamin deficiency is but these are on the severe spectrum of the vitamin A deficiency. Another thing happens on the screen is known as phrynoderma. Phrynoderma simply means frog-like skin. So papules, keratogenous papule, papules occurs in the skin and they forms bulge-like structure as shown in the image. So this is also known as follicular hyperkeratosis. Vitamin A is really important for skin cell production or regeneration. And also vitamin A acts like an antioxidant. It has a, some, to some extent it has antioxidant like property. That's why it is super in, important for screen cell regeneration and overall physiology of the skin cells. Now just let us finish with appreciating the overall importance of vitamin A. It has some antioxidant property. That's why it can scavenge ROS. It is really important for skin maintenance and repair, also regeneration of the skin cells. It helps in different type of cell differentiation, especially retinoic acid is important for different lineages in the brain. While the brain is developing, retinoic acid is really important. Other than that, it also lowers the risk of heart attack. So I hope we can appreciate the deficiency of vitamin A and associated symptoms. If you need more notes and flashcards, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Support our channel using super thanks. See you in next video.